all in hopes of creating more understanding in the community. Every day we come to the mosque and there are bouquets of flowers with their letters. Uh, kids have written us letters. Uh, there's a lot of support from... Everybody wants to have a peaceful life. Everybody wants to have their families be safe. And I'm hoping that instead of fear, we breach out and... Welcome back. Now for a little good news on a community coming together during quite a challenging time. A number of Utahns are showing support to their Muslim neighbors, including this afternoon during Friday prayers. New specialist Sam Penrod shows us how the community came together on a day of solidarity. Members of other faiths joined their Muslim counterparts in Roseville in an act of solidarity. In this evening, around 150 people gathered at the mosque in Tyler for an interfaith unity event. Sure, this community, they do belong here in Tulsa. Well, Friday is the holy day of worship for Muslims who gather at their local mosque for afternoon prayers. But today, a special show of solidarity from the community. The Johnson City Mosque opened their doors to everyone Friday in the hopes of uniting the community in what they call a tough time for all religious groups. I really did want to express my uh, solidarity with them, my, uh, uh, my sympathy for the problems they're going through right now, and, uh, and my willingness to, to work with them and on their behalf. They gathered first to march in Boulder and voice their disapproval of what they called President Donald Trump's first, quote, disastrous few weeks in office. We're not going to allow this country to go from a democracy to a dictatorship or a fascist state. All religions. We say never again. All races. I'm proud to see all the different faces. Standing together in unity just outside the Islamic Center of Greensboro. Everybody wants to have a peaceful life. Everybody wants to have their families be safe and prosper. And so we need to recognize those needs, regardless of what our political position is. We are called to be a people of love and justice not a people of division and wall building and bans. Refugees make America great. I am from Syria. I have been here in Gisborne six months. And I'm hoping that instead of fear, we reach out and talk to people and see that all of us are alike. It says that there's, there's deep-rooted hate and fear and that it's not acceptable and that we need to step up and say that, say that it is not acceptable, it is not who we are. I feel like if we ban uh, refugees that it, we are kind of doing something against our fundamental founding. A similar scene at mosques all across the GTA. In North York, members of the Jewish community forming a ring of peace around Imdad al Mosque. In It just feels so heartening to know that um, America is still great. <laughs> it is especially cold today, but our hearts are warm. My heart is warmed by this presence. My heart is warmed by your presence. Every day we come to the mosque and there are bouquets of flowers with their letters. Uh, kids have written us letters. Uh, there's a lot of support from every walk of life. Weekend. This event was a way for people to show their support for Muslims in our community. Many people dropped off yellow flowers symbolizing friendship. It's really interesting because the kids are playing together, the adults are talking to each other, and it's this big bonding experience. And we we're very clear this is not political, this is just coming together in support of our Muslim neighbors. Non-Muslims hope more individuals will attend services like this one to realize the many similarities they share with the Muslim people that they might not have known about. There is appreciation for us, by all groups of people, and that for us means that we have to now do more good for the people back in return. All in hopes of creating more understanding in the community. Sam Penrod, KSL 5 News, West Valley City. This is an old video. What can actually relate it to what is happening right now between the Palestine 
and Israel. I'm sure a similar thing happened they, during this period for people, no Muslim came out. After the, the one that actually, you know, got me emotional was the part where non Muslims were outside waiting for the Muslims to come out from their Friday prayers and they were supporting them. They were that was beautiful to watch, like the fact that they all showed great love. I, I, I could see that the same love is being shown even till now, even though there are some Palestinian Muslims are in our times. And this is massive love. This is what we call love. Massive. Christians, everybody supporting Muslim. Massive support was real, was incredible. I was moved. Everybody supporting. Both Americans, both, you know, different countries came out. Non-Muslims came out. I love the solidarity. We all pray for freedom. I'm doing this at times too. I'm hoping for freedom. During this period of war, during this hard period, God, Allah will see them through and God will protect them. Like this was beautiful. I really enjoyed watching. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.